Alright, I'm back. Do you know, thanks to our last episode, I now associate bubble tea with invisibility potions. That's what I imagine they taste like. Anyway. Um, what do we get up to? So, a quick look at our inventory. We should sell this while we're here, actually. Can't identify that. We know it's a good set of armor class changing braces. From five down to one, that's pretty good. Um, beyond that, let's check our journal for a second. Haven't done this for a while. Mm -hmm. Goke's cloak. In the cloakwood, we can't go to the cloakwood yet. Half ogres near Beragost. Here we go. Bjornan. Apparently, there is a band of half ogres in the mountains south southwest of town from Beragost. Let's see if we can go find them. South, southwest. I would say it's either this or this one. <laughs> but that's got a mountain in the picture. Let's go and have a look. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. <laughs> uh, did I learn my lesson? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So ideally, we would chuck an invisibility spell or potion. I think we might have a spare one, but I think I'm trying to keep that for a... No, we're out of them. No more bubble tea. Okay, a quick look through here first. Potions of Defense, uh, that'll give us all a single armor class improvement. That's not really what we're after. Um, we can't really cast a spell besides one that goes off really quickly, so let's do that. My thinking would be Mirror Image. Arrows are coming in. Many of these arrows are gonna hit our images. So if, if we see an image disappear, then it then it's a hit that our image has stopped. Let's run. We're beginning to take hits, that's okay. We have everything we need now. Hmm slow. I wanted to see if this would work. Incidentally. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so slow is a good spell. Slow has a negative four to the save versing save versus, so that's really good. These are all going to shoot much slower, and it'll give us time. They'll still be able to hit us, of course, but it'll give us time to start working down on them. And I think a good com and a good angle to this would be to pop web. Oh, that's perfect. We're kind of locked in here, but that's going to keep them nicely bound up. We may even chop in a second one shortly. This guy's injured. Should be able to deal with these guys nice and quickly. Some will save a spell, so we'll give them another... Oh, I don't want to put it in too close or else we'll get caught in the blast zone. Like we're good. Okay, we've got one guy in close combat. We have to deal with him. Oh no, move back. Okay. Wow, there is like no, no, no margin for error here. Okay, let's deal with them quickly. It may even be time for I would I would chuck a fireball in there, but no. We could chuck grease in there as well, just in case. But I think we'll be okay. He's almost dead. Good. So the limiting factor here is how much damage we can hope to pour out at once. You know, in an early test for this, I actually ran it into this encounter at level one and I tried everything, but there was nothing. So there are certain encounters in this game that are just brutal. Looting and shooting. What was that? Oh, that must be one of the, that must be the slow spell coming off. I think we've gone down to half. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I won't bother. No, I will bother. Let's blind him. He's no longer a threat. 
Again, if we're fighting fair, we're not fighting properly. Stealth mode, let's make sure there's nothing else out there. There could be. Cool. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bandits taken out. So yeah, I think it's safe to say we've uh, we've hit our power stroke. We're doing all right. I mean that is south southwest as well. I think it's this one. So half ogres. They're pretty distinctive. And we have yes, we haven't really gone here before. And if we cheat a little bit and use the radar, we should be able to see if there's any half ogres here. Mostly just tons of knolls. Alright. Let's get ourselves a moving. Oh, we're so close to level up too. More mage spells would be wonderful. And I would love me the... Uh, I'm really after the, um, the wand of magic. Sorry, the ring of, of wizardry. <laughs> that would be great. I could really use that right about now. More level one spells to just spit out. I could afford magic missiles, which are now doing enough damage to be worth casting. How are we for spells? I'm okay with this level of, of spells. I don't want to be resting all the time. But, yes, we will want to... Rest after a large engagement. Maybe these knolls here we can deal with. Oh, do you know? I think I know what this is. It's just come to me. It's just... Sometimes you'd be surprised how often you leave an important interaction <laughs> just like that. Let's talk to this guy. Money and healing. I'm a member of the Chill, <clears throat> the mercenary band. If you want all my friends breathing down your neck, then you just keep pissing me off. Mm. Well, they asked for healing. I would have healed. I would have healed him. Hmm, that's a bit rougher than I'd have gone. Uh, let's see. One versus one. Oh. He's just going to run away. And teleport away, even. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if it's the encounter I think it is, we won't need to worry about stealth. Disregard that. We will take out as many as we can at range. I would suggest there's a whole mess of them in there. Let's try... Grease. Grease seems to work. Oh, we could use you could use slow as well. Both have a similar effect, if I'm being honest. Let's chuck slow. Singleton, just one. Oh well. Let's just shoot him with arrows, and if he's slowed. Waste of a good spell, really. Slow is a remarkably good ability. Really does cut down their combat abilities. We should be using it more than we already are. I mean, it'd be great to, best to hold an enemy completely in one spot. Like, paral like paralyze them, but... I'm definitely a fan of... Ha. Huh. Interesting names you all have. If I were any kind of sensible person, I would put traps down. You can always get pick them up later. Not really, but you know what I mean. Let's put some snares out here just so we, we know we're safe. I think I'll leave the rest. And I think... I think our character would be increasingly wary by now. Like, I'm wary. Stop where you are. If you throw down your weapons and cooperate, no one will be hurt. Who are you? 
My name is Tangan. This is my girl, Jemby. The ugly one is Zekar. Oh, it's a thruple. What we want is your money. Head over all your cash and you'll be unharmed. Before you do anything rash, think it over for a while. Greedy bandits. Draw steel. Stupid. Stupid. Now you die. Let's try... Oh, there's a mage in the party, which is a problem. Let's try a... Grease. Now we pull back. Oh, hang on. Quick, something happened there. We got hit by an arrow and we had to save us death. That's a poison arrow, if we're not careful. Jembi is currently protected from normal weapons, so our arrows won't hit them. Let's just switch to smart arrows, just in case. And Jembi is mirror image. That's a short duration spell, so let's see if we can just time that out, honestly. Okay. Smoothing back in. Let's see if we can blind this archer. That would be a huge help. Zakar is blinded. That's really good. And I'm going to chuck a grease here. No, I'm not. Zakar, you're fine on your own. We're just... Oh, no. That's going to trigger our traps. But she is... Not sure what that was. Let's haste. Save her spell. That was a horror spell. We're currently hasted. What has she got for defenses? Jembi has armor running out. Magic Im mirror image for a second. Shield. These two are going to run out in seconds. So we may as well try and just bypass with what we've got going. We should have the speed to do it. Oh, that got through. Nice. Let's knock this guy out. Uh, oops. No, 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 no. With arrows, man. With arrows. Let's put some more grease down. He's getting hard to hit this one, isn't he? Healing potion. Don't want that. No, no, we'll hold that. Come on, come on, come on, man. We've got to start landing these arrows. Tangan, 12 hit points. He'll break this and be able to move soon. And when he does, we'll try and s we'll try and fear him. I think. Good. I think we're gonna go kill the archer. Oh, now we want to be careful following him. That mage is the only real threat. So let's see if we can slip through and find her. Jembi is near death. Single target. I think we'd be able to do it with a single good arrow. Level up. Deck of staff. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's finish off that archer. Let's level up first. Um, two and level four spells. That's really good. Have we had level four spells before? No, we don't even know any. So that's great. Have to find some. And we got some more level two spells. That's really good. I think we can afford ourselves another... I do like blur. Blur is really good. Lasts longer than mirror image as well. But webbing an enemy down really does shut them down. Mm. No, I think I think Blur takes yeah, Blur casts fairly quickly as well So we'll use that Let's go find that Hobgoblin and fill him full of arrows Let's use dumb arrows
supposedly poison arrows, but he's not carrying any. Oh well. Fire resistance only 20%. That's just we'll just sell that. Halberd plus one, that's good. And heavy though. Yeah. Okay. Deck of Staff. I've never actually used this spell. It's from Icewind Dale. I didn't even use it then. It creates a staff of force in the caster's hand. It's a magic weapon, so that's handy. It does 1d6 hit points per damage. That's about. It's not very good actually. It's about what a normal staff would do. Uh. And you need you need to have proficiency points in it too. The staff has the ability to drain a target of one d four hit points on every hit, and these are added. So it's essentially a normal quarter staff, not even a bonus to hit. Just simply that it can hit targets that are magical. That will give us one or two hit points per turn. That's useless, but we'll sell it. We'll learn it. Okay. So we're on to fifty six. Where? You will need to be resting soon. Uh, let's drop a quick save and rest. Let's go over here and have a look. Yes, all these nulls, I know what this is. Uh, there are ways, I'm told, to deal with this encounter up ahead, but I don't think it's possible. So, we're going to play it straight. We're not going to try and... If, you, if you've played this far, you know what I'm thinking, but we're not going to do that. No. Oh. Yeah, Dridst is already happening. So Dridst is the remarkable dark elf who, yeah, kicks absolute butt. You there. Will you help a stranger in need? I am beset by gnolls. Fear not, we will not stand aside while another is in peril. Imagine saying that full sentence while running and trying to get a shot. The fight is joined. I welcome your aid. Tire some beasts these gnolls are. I'll be glad to be done with them. I might get an arrow on him first. No. So Dritz has some really good swords with him, and some good chainmail actually, which I would like to steal off him, but we are not doing an evil playthrough. Oh crap, there's more than a couple of you. We can, to a large extent, just let Dritz handle this on his own. You'll notice too that he's not even reacting to the web. His magical immunities are much higher. Dritz do it, honestly. So Dritz carries two swords, Twinkle and Defender, and they are wonderful weapons for a good character to use. But, uh... Well, Matt Stranger, I am Dritz de Erden, and I appreciate your assistance. Yeah, we really helped out a whole heap. It is a long enough trip to the Icewind Dale, even without these constant interruptions. I do not recall banditry being such, a, of epic, epic, such epic proportions in this area. How long has this been so... I strive to return peace to these lands. Noble goals indeed. So we know that humans are of the are black talons. Hobgoblins of chill. Okay. So he's in advi advising us that sometimes it is best to immerse ourselves quietly and subtly into enemy encampments rather than just attack straight up. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel. Well met, friend. Be luck on your side. Luck be on your side. So, um, yes, if you can manage to kill him, he is a great... Well, he has some great weapons. But there's two reasons why you wouldn't. Reason number one is it's a hit to your reputation. Reason number two is he's really, really hard. Like, he has... He would be hard for even a, a character twice that level to take out. There are cheesy ways to do it. In the past, you could just sort of stand back and only trigger the gnolls. And Dritz would not fight them until you arrived. And you just basically walk away, get a cup of tea, and yes, the um, you would get you would get the uh, the swords and the armor. But it is not to it is not to be this case. We're not going to try and do that. I think the other reason too, if you do grab his swords, the game registers that that fact, and later on in the second game, it's possible to get 
kind of uh, in trouble with Dritzt again, even if even though you've killed him here. Oh, a couple of wolves. Uh, see, I think sleep would be handy here, but we should be able to just fight them off. Let's go mirrors, mirror image. And we'll run in and stab this dog. What a sentence to say out loud, I'm sorry. See, we lost a mirror then. That's one hit we would have taken. The big weakness with this character, besides just not being good up close with weapons, more a more nuanced is we only get one attack per, per round. One attack every six seconds. We can cast spells separate to that. So it's one attack and one spell or ability or potion or wand every six seconds. So that's the major hurdle when trying to do what we're doing here in play solo is it's not always damage output that matters. We can do a ton of damage if we have an enemy you know, caught up or bound or something. The big problem is when you need to do lots of rapid hits, like say breaking through stone skin. If you were playing classes that could attack multiple times per round and you are dual wielding and you can just launch haste, you can basically just batter your way through stone skin on its own. But we will never have that option. Uh, actually, there are some spells that give us rapid attacks. Um, down the track, we might try and do dual wielding. I have definitely put my proficiency points towards single weapon style. That one armor class and expanded um, critical hit zone is really good. I probably won't put the next point in, though. We'll be switching to doing... Let's see if it's just the one. Yeah, we'll be switching to dual wielding later on, if only because it just means we get that extra attack as needed. I think we can wear that attack on the chin if it comes through. And this new dagger is just wonderful. But one hit point, let's see if we can drag and put an arrow in him. Instead of risking that extra attack. Hiya. Thank you. Don't really know why he stopped then. So we're looking for half ogres and I'm not detecting any on the radar. Potentially they're an encounter, and so they're not going to show up because they're currently blue or non-hostile until you talk to them. South southwest. It might have been that closer location, come to think of it. Do a quick scan. Up here. Is it Ogrillion? Half ogres. Disregard. So yes, this is probably a bit cheating, having the radar like that, but <clears throat> It'll make the viewing experience for you better. It's a bit of a slippery slope, that kind of justification, though, because me having the Ring of Wizardry would make a better viewing experience for you. You'd see me casting more spells and having more flexibility. But these things have to be earned, and eventually we will find... Well, 19 hit points. That's a good backstab away. Let's try. Although with a dagger, it's less than it we're used to. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> I guess we are a pipsqueak. We weren't before. And two hit points remaining. Let's see if we can't take him out with a single arrow. Hey, now we're talking. Let's go find these half ogres and return the mission. I always do that. I always take off my user interface whenever I go to inventory. I guess it only shows one character, doesn't it? Stealth mode activated. <clears throat> hmm. Torlo. Hello. Hmm. We'll leave you to your work. That guy looks just like... What's his face? From... Ah. Uh, he's both in the new series of Breaking Bad, which is The Better Call Saul, and he's the bad guy out of Far Cry 3. 
Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? My apologies, I'll leave it to your work. I thank you, man's true calling. For the mines, but I also prefer remaining alive. Uh, yes, he's been in presumably the Nashville mines and knows what happens down there. So it looks like we've got four half ogres. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. Let's remove them so we've got more maneuvering space. That's one. Let's take them to go see the fishermen. No, that's not good. They're moving pretty well, actually, aren't they? Hey. I think one-on-one -on -one we can fight him. Skeletons have eight hit points, so we should be right. Wielding a hammer, so... What's that? 2d4? 1d4 plus 1? Okay. We took out those skeletons to make sure we've got maneuvering space for up here. I'm going to put down some traps too. I think one more and we'll leave a spare just in case we want to ambush them from the start. Okay, let's locate these. I don't know why everyone texts me exactly when I have recording to do. I appear way more popular and okay half ogres let's get ourselves on a really good angle and put them all right there one more let's hurl our trap in here that killed two 270 experience points one guy's almost dead he slowed let's top knock him out and finish him off Being slow, it sucks, man. I'm sorry. Diamond. Well, we killed those half ogres with no real, no major issues. Was there anything in the quest? Uh, no. It's a null, and we have traps remaining. I think we do get a bonus to hit with ranged weapons if we are... Oh, there's a whole area over here. I think I'm going to skip it though. Let's get back and hand that quest in. Although, what else have we got? The fishermen and the priestess, the gibbling hordes. Yes, well, sorry. She managed to get herself killed doing that. Okay, yeah. Let's head back to the jovial juggler. We can hand in some of these hand in the quest and we'll hand in some of these bandit scalps as well and make some good coin. Bjornan. We have. We have not, apparently. Well, we went on the vector you suggested and we found half ogres, so I thought you were... Let's have a look. 650. Good. Okay. So we didn't finish the uh, the quest. Okay, let's. I really want to find it. It's just I know it's only a short. I know it's a detour, but I want to do it. South southwest. It's this one. We're gonna cheat and use the radar, which is saying that there is. Nothing here. Let's verify that. Yeah, half ogres are quite uncommon, so I was fairly sure I got them. Maybe I left one alive back there? It's gibbling. Prepare yourself. Might be a sec. Oh, there's a... Oh, Viconia. I think I'm going to skip talking to her. But 
doesn't matter who you are. If you're fighting ghouls and you aren't protected from their paralyze, then you fight them at range. So back into a corner here, I'm banking on us hitting him. Okay, maybe I'm not banking, but still. Nice ring, fire opal ring. You know, we're gonna wear that for the moment. You can have nice things. Oh, we didn't sell our stuff. Okay. I'm still convinced that we have half ogres around somewhere. And I know it's only a minor quest, but by the time we finish this next area, we aren't going to be bothered with doing small quests like this. And I'd like as much experience as possible before we get to the bandit camp. Two. Possibly more. We can use this, I think. And fight them on the beaches. Fight them on the landing grounds. I'm not sure why Churchill has, has come to me at this time. Maybe it's my flight sim side calling out to me. I think because the Baldur's Gate stuff is getting more views and more's happening, I'm and I've been asked to um to make more episodes. I'm really enjoying doing that. <clears throat> and let's have a look. Where are those half ogres? There's a whole chunk of land in here, I would imagine. That's where I would hide. Hello there. I'm going to assume you're a good person, and for no apparent reason, I'm going to put a snare here. Ogres on the breeze. Two, maybe three. Two, maybe more. Uh, yeah, you'd be a good character to have in the party. Just slow me down and take a walk, kiddo. So he says, two ogres. Uh-huh. Cool. Fifteen. We should have them on radar, but nothing. Well, that was well-timed. Singleton. Gibbling. Singleton. Where else on YouTube can you find someone playing Baldur's Gate but with a mind like a flight sim nerd? God, I, I do play a lot of really nerdy games, don't I? Let's walk this ghoul into our trap over here so we actually use it. And hiya. And let's go up here. Oh, I thought it was enemy spotted squirrel. Now that's an encounter. Very Monty Python to imagine a squirrel being a real threat. One hit point, surely we can take this guy out with one arrow. Try again. I miss two when I do archery. Another fiend gem, excellent. Guaranteed we're going to forget and then sell that gem. And then I'll have to go to questing once again. That man promised us ogres and we haven't found any yet. Ooh. What have we here? Quick save. Huh, there's like no threat in here at all. It's completely safe. It's a trap. I swear, if we find the Wizard of... the Ring of Wizardry so close to Veragos this late in the game... No. Thank you. Thank you, game. Best thing is I can't even check guides if I get stuck. The items are just wherever. I'm going to scan this section first, make sure there's no ogre in there. God, I feel like I'm hunting Shrek. You there, ogre. Uh, doesn't look like they're here. Submerged house. Ugh. 
It's like nothing in there, but I like how someone still took the time to draw it. I'm pretty sure you can be... I'm pretty sure this house gets referenced somewhere else in the game, but I've forgotten where. <laughs> Swing through here and see if we can find them. Hobgoblins. I like fighting hobgoblins. They make me happy. Usually they're one arrow or two arrows. Forward much. We fight from the shadows. Imagine running from a halfling. There's got to be some cognitive dissonance if you live in a world where they get ridiculed all the time and then one of them just starts slamming arrows into you. I'm starting to think we didn't properly clear out that last location and there's more half ogres. We could check along here but normally the radar would show by now. Let's see if it picks anything up in here. Nope. Okay. Let's go to that location we were just at and complete the search. <laughs> That's just straight south, surely. But it's mountainous. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's do a search through here because we found those half, half ogres about here. Maybe there's more of them in this sector. Nothing on the list, I should say. Null. Well, nulls are what we backstab now. hi yeah. Oh, just miss. I mean, imagine you had a knife and you were behind this. How would you miss exactly? But to imagine it's, you know, they detect you at the last second and dodge out of the way. Critical hit for two damage. Ah. Oh, I just got sent a uh, message about my run-through. A friend of mine, a younger friend of mine, is keen to play Baldur's Gate and wants to know what version I'm playing. So yes, this is the enhanced edition. Although why I'm answering here when he can't hear me. <laughs> I guess he'll read this eventually or listen to this eventually. But yes, this is the enhanced edition. Um, the original game is played almost entirely at this resolution and with half the screen. So imagine, imagine a line bisecting the screen and all the UI being kind of as big or bigger than it is now. Yeah, it did seem to sort of make the active exploration more immersive. This feels like, like a tactical display, whereas that was close in. But yeah, anyway, I'll get to him and maybe I've recruited someone to, to set to this old game, to this great old game. I think it's a classic. It's rough around the edges. There are other games that do more clever things. Like I'd say for for true role playing, then I would go probably Fallout, like the original Fallouts. They are just incredible. The things you can do in them. Yeah, it's another null on his own. Honestly, how much experience? Thirty-five. It all adds up. There we go. That's what a backstab should look like. And we'll just flick an arrow at him. I said, we'll just flick an arrow at him. I said it in a way that makes it seem easy. Hi-ya. There we go. What is that? A bullet plus one? Okay, we'll be selling that. Although halflings do get a bonus with slings. So, hmm. The only class I know that really uses slings is probably... Well, mages do use them sometimes, but clerics certainly do. But part of the advantage of playing a thief mage is we get the thief weapons. Okay, either we've balked this quest or it's actually here. 
but that is very much south, 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 southwest. Did I misread it? No, near Berigost. Hmm. All right. I think I'm going to leave this quest for now because I've spent enough time on it, and we're going to roll over to. Alcaster has some nasty interactions. I think we could. I think we're powerful enough to do it though. So we're going to go to Alcaster. That might be actually our next episode. So I tell you what, we'll go there next episode. We'll finish up by going through here. Okay. I, and yes, if this is your ooh, yes, this is where the scroll of cloud kill usually lives. But now we get polymorph self. When this is cast, you can assume the shape of another creature. What creatures can you become? Uh, slime. What level is that? Level four. We have our first level four spell. I don't remember this being a particularly good spell, but if it's all we've got, we're going to be trying it out. And I guess a slight goal of mine is to is to try out spells that I haven't really used before. So we'll make a crack at it. And there'll be situations where things like slimes are quite quite useful. Fighting against mages on their own, you'll find a slime will shrug off almost all of their effects. So yeah. We're just going for a, a bar type scan, just scanning this this area as we go. More Xfarts. I mean, be honest, have you ever said the word Xfart out loud unless you've talked to a friend about this game? Like, it's just one of those unpronounceable things. Lots of Xfarts. But there's definitely stuff in here. And kobolds, apparently. Ugh, man. In one of my test runs before I ran this, I ran as a... Uh, I might have mentioned this already, but ran as a fighter mage thief and... God, it's just so good. I think... I think we'll just walk in and kill them all. <laughs> it's a bit dark, wasn't it? There we go. One arrow for you. Although I do like hitting, I have to say. Four. Let's use the wand. Maybe an arrow on someone? Gee, come on. Now that's a kobold guard, so he has a poisoned dagger. Let's try and break line of sight, Assassin's Creed style. Oh, can we, can we, can we? Just a bit. Well, the other one gets us then. Good. Our auto stealth wasn't on. There we go. Notice sometimes we get two goes at stealth. When we have um, the script running. To me, this is a, a happy little exploit. Oh, 26 damage. A skull breaker. But there's a chance that you'll poison yourself. So, you know. And there's no bonus to hit. Okay. Good bit of experience there. Oh, there were seven experience points. They're just not worth killing anymore. Okay. Vax. Okay. I am going to put down a trap here. And I'm going to put down one over here too, just in case. He won't notice. Let's go talk to our buddy. Hey, Vax. Vax and Zal, I know you guys. I know you guys. Yeah, talk to me over here where it's... <sighs> The fastest dart thrower that has ever walked the Sword Coast. So we're being held up again. No desire to fight a pair of idiots. Nor am I going to give you any of our money. Get lost. You hear that, Zal? Seems they don't take you seriously. Time to show what for, huh? You're in for a world of hurt. Did you see that? 16 damage and then he immediately dumps a potion. Can we hit him with a poison? Yes! Yes, we can. And we're not going to... 
The heart of the golem has the same icon as the gnome sticker. Let's not get these confused. Well, if he's poisoned, he that means two things. Poison has a secondary effect that's not listed in the game, which means they are constantly running around trying to find you. Sorry, I'll think before I talk. Damn, that nearly took him out. That, al that almost took him out, that's great. I think he's one good shot away. Oh, he healed. He's poisoned again? Really want to deal with this guy quickly, if I can. Before he goes and joins his friend. God, chasing enemies down is... Like, I like being able to say that I've... Okay, that's Sal, the fastest dart thrower in the West. I think we hit him with a poison, a poison arrow. Nope. He's pretty much almost dead. No, no, no. Hit him before he heals. Before he heals. Ooh. Boots of something. Could be the boots I like a lot. We'll identify them. These could be the boots of avoidance. They make us really good at avoiding arrows. Val is down here somewhere. Vax is down here. Okay. That'd be, are we doing that thing again where we have to hunt someone down? I guess we are a bounty hunter, so this should be our jam, really. Where the hell is Vax? Vax is over here somewhere. sure I can hear him running. Although, wouldn't you think he'd have stopped running by now? Okay, that was my stomach, if you heard that. 400 experience points. I think I'm going to leave the rest of this to... Oh, we'll make the cut here. We'll finish examining this area through here. And then we will rock over to Old Caster next episode. So thanks for watching. I'm posting these a bit, bit faster at the moment because I want to get you know, a good library in. Uh, yeah, tell your friends if they're interested too. Keen to get more views and more, 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 more eyes on this experience, more opinions happening. So thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you next time.